What is going on, guys? Mobile Care News here. And Dish has acquired Gen Mobile. Now, if for a lot of people that don't know, even I didn't know about this, Gen Mobile is basically a small, it's a small uh, company that, um, that basically like deals with like uh, low payments and it's basically like another you know metro pcs where you know the plans aren't expensive but they're affordable and they're on a good network now dish is going has acquired this company so they can better boost their um you know their better their, uh, their plays with, with uh, having um with having better advantages towards uh, getting more customers to use smaller you know um a, a small a smaller service but with good coverage uh because you because as we know they already have boost mobile right here they acquired boost mobile because of the merger and now they acquired gen mobile now i looked into gen mobile's um i looked into their website and their website is their website's pretty good i mean like they have three options of plans they have i think 5 15 and 20 gigabytes of data for like i i think 30 bucks a month but, uh, but, but I've looked into it and it's, it's, it's not a bad, you know, it's not a bad, you know, you know, um, service. I mean, I never had Gen Mobile. I just, I recently looked it up and I was like, oh, Gen Mobile, I've never heard of this company. And I did research. I was on the website and they're pretty good. Um, the one thing they do charge is I believe, I think they charge, I think they charge $5 for, I, uh, I think using, um, more gigabytes of data. Um, I'm not sure how much more data you get. I think you get. I think they charge five dollars or or ten dollars or five more gigabytes of data. I I believe that's how it was. I have to look into it again. But it, um, I mean, I could be wrong. But if that's the case, that's actually not bad. I mean, it will cost you more to use five more gigabytes of data. And what's kind of funny is, Gen Mobile is using the T-Mobile network. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of awkward that Dish has bought Gen Mobile. And you know, Gen Mo the, they use the T-Mobile networks, so, and and on top of that, AT and T is using Dish's network. AT and T no, Dish is using AT and T's network. So it almost sounds like all three have to kind of work together. So it's kind of an awkward phase, even though T-Mobile, even though Dish recently left, um, even though Dish recently left T-Mobile to go to AT and T, and now they're all bad. They're all in, like in the same like room, same situation. So it's kind of awkward, yeah. Like, like they kind of have to work together, like almost in a sense. It's very weird, but you know, it's how it's how it has to go. You know, I mean, unless T-Mobile ditch, unless T-Mobile ditches Gen Mobile and says, "Oh, we don't want uh, you, uh, we don't want you using our network anymore," because uh, Dish has it. I mean, that'd be that'd be pretty funny, in my opinion. I mean, like, I mean, I don't know if I, I don't know if that would ever happen, but I I think that'd be pretty funny because. T-Mobile is just salty that they've acquired um they, that Dish has acquired Gen Mobile, and I'm also and I'm curious why didn't T-Mobile acquire Gen Mobile first? I mean, t I mean, the T-Mobile was already giving uh, Gen Mobile permission to use their network. Why didn't T-Mobile buy Gen uh, Gen Mobile? I was thinking, I was thinking that like why like like T-Mobile could literally have two NVM NV NVM how do you say NVNOs? If that's how you call it correctly, they could have had two. But I don't know why T-Mobile didn't buy it and didn't didn't buy them. And instead, Dish came and was like, "Hey, we, uh, can we buy you guys? We'll give you this billions, this uh, you know, this cash. Can we buy you?" And so they said, "Yeah, yeah, buy us. Go ahead." Um, the one thing, the one thing is though, the current CEO of Gen Mobile, um, I told I totally forgot his name. It's down here in the article. Um, he said he still wants to be the CEO, even though it's bought by by T by Dish. And Dish is honestly all fine with that, you know. He, he, the, like the CEO of Gen Mobile is willing to work with Dish, you know, and still wants to remain CEO. I can kind of see he wants to keep that entitlement as the chief executive officer of, you know, the whole the whole um the company of Gen Mobile, which is totally fine. I think that's totally fine. But it's just kind of funny how like Dish is using AT and T to improve their network. They now acquired Gen Mobile, and Gen Mobile is using T Mobile's network. So like it's 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 like all three carriers are in one and are just in, in like one room and have to work together in a sense and just kind of awkward and it's just very interesting so yeah like i said i wouldn't be surprised if t-mobile uh said hey we don't want to we don't want you using our network anymore because you know you're, you're a dish so we're off if that were the case if that were to happen dish wouldn't have a problem with that because remember dish has at&t 
Like we could like Dish could literally call up AT and T and say, "Hey AT and T, uh, Dish left um just Dish a uh, T Mobile left uh Gen Mobile because they didn't want to use it." So what AT and T will do is AT and T will start AT T will start uh you know implementing their network to Gen Mobile, and T Mobile and Dish Mobile will get will have kind of like an advantage towards that, I would say. But at the moment they're using T Mobile's network, so it's very interesting how Gen Mobile will play in the NVNO space with Boost Mobile and T Mobile and and you know and Verizon. I think Verizon has um I think they have um Rocket and uh, and I believe um I, I'm trying to remember which company owns Ting. It's it's either AT and T or T Mobile that own Ting, but all these NVNOs, and, and uh, NVNOs, they're they're competing. There's a lot of them now. There's visible, there's so many now. There is US cellular like there's all these NVNOs that it there's just massive. There's just there's just a lot. Back in the day, I remember it was just Boost Mobile and Metro PCS. If I remember correctly, I'm not sure if there was more in the past. There could have been. I don't. I honestly don't remember. But those are the ones I remember who were just in high demand competition, and because they and because they they were the lowest uh, they were the lowest tiers of services. Um, backed up by the biggest carriers, people would go on to it. But now there's multiple, there's multiple NBNOs and 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 on top and just dish acquiring Gen Mobile and just including Gen Mobile now. There's so many as there's so many NBNOs to be you know to have you know like let, like if you're on a budget like especially like you don't want to pay like you want to be on the Verizon network but you don't want to pay a lot but you want to have good service you want to have like maybe 50 gigabytes of data but pay for less or or 45 you can literally go to rocket like rocket mobile or wireless it's it's uh, i forget the name but it's rocket mobile or rocket uh wireless or if you want to go to if you want to go to t-mobile but you want to you don't want to pay 85 dollars a month you can go to metro pcs and you can spend 60 dollars a month and still get the same coverage and good service and now dish acquiring jet mobile i believe more uh i believe they're going to dish is going to be marketing jet mobile even more and try to get more customers because they already have boost mobile now, Dish right now is going to not, and I think that's a good thing because in the future, Dish uh, Boost Mobile is going to um, slow, kind of suffer because T-Mobile is shutting down their, uh, the 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 CDMA networks of 3G. So Boost Mobile will suffer a little bit, but now that Dish has Gen Mobile, I think they'll be fine. They will they won't they won't suffer as much because you know people want to get che- uh, cheaper plans, cheaper rates to have a good service. So if Boost Mobile is having issues, they have Gen Mobile as a backup pl- as a backup plan to make even more money. They can market it more, and and eventually, Boost Mobile will be fine. I do think Boost Mobile will be okay in a sense. You know, eventually all Boost Mobile customers will be switching to four G LTE, five G phones, and and eventually and um, eventually when T Mobile is not really working with Boost Mobile anymore, I believe. I, I, I believe this could happen. Do uh, I believe Dish could when Dish uh, when Dish finally gets off the ground with five G, uh, they could replace T Mobile's network since T Mobile is is um is uh is letting Dish borrow their network for Boost Mobile. I believe what will happen is Dish will just implement their own network into Boost Mobile. That way, there won't be any issues, and customers can freely use data. Uh, they can freely use data and service from from Dish. Because Dish Network will be 100% uh, 5G compatible. So I think this is a really good win for Dish. Kind of awkward for all three carriers to be working like this, but it is what it is. Eventually, things will change here. I do believe in the future, Dish will, will be up, will be good to go. Not having any, any of these problems. Because frankly, I just think it's it's so it's so bad how T-Mobile did uh, Dish Wireless uh, very sloppy like that. I just wish T-Mobile would be more you know genuine and be... Um, realistic and just you know work with work with dish network but obviously uh t-mobile likes to likes to be very competitive they like they don't like to be competitive with 5g but they like to be competitive with other carriers not not seeing them do good kind of like a hater so it's kind of weird in my opinion why t-mobile will do this but i think dish will be fine you know dish has had dish has at&t now dish acquired gen mobile even though Gen Mobile is using T-Mobile Network, maybe T-Mobile will leave later and AT&T will be replaced. I'm not really too sure. We'll have to see how everything plays out, guys. I'm very curious to see how this will do. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.